What if the boundary between human and machine becomes indistinguishable? As we embark on this journey, let's turn back the clock to 2003, in South Korea, the birthplace of humanoid robotics. At the forefront of this revolution was the Humanoid Robot Research Center of KIST, or Hubo Lab, a breeding ground for innovation. Hubo Lab gave rise to Rainbow Robotics, a company specializing in robot platforms. Their creations range from advanced disaster rescue robots to their internally developed collaborative ones. A humanoid robot named Ever, developed by the Korea Institute of Industrial Technology, starred in a groundbreaking opera in Korea. Ever, designed with remarkable human-like features, including 51 joints for precise movements, captivated the audience with its expressive emotional range, singing, and acting abilities. It can display over 12 emotions such as joy, sadness, anger, and surprise, utilizing an advanced emotion model and muscle control algorithm. In addition to its emotive capabilities, Ever is equipped with social behaviors for natural interaction, including eye contact and autonomous movements. Its lips can synchronize with pre-recorded speech, enhancing its communication abilities. While Ever cannot sing live, a vocalist recorded its performances in advance. Movement is facilitated by adjusting wheels via remote control, enabling Ever to interact fluidly with others in a human-like manner. A shining example of Keist's work is the RBQ series, a quadruped robot with an array of sensors designed for tasks from crime prevention patrol to military service. They utilize autonomous walking technology capable of navigating complex terrain and operate throughout extended missions. Powered by electric motors, these robots offer high efficiency and agility. Controlled remotely, they can continuously walk for up to 1 hour and 30 minutes. Equipped with an impact-resistant external walking control algorithm, they can perform dynamic maneuvers such as backflips. Hubo 2, a full-scale humanoid robot capable of walking, running, and even dancing. A true testament to human-like ingenuity. Hubo 2, with its 40 motors and 2-hour continuous operational capacity, was a giant leap forward in the field of humanoid robotics. RBY-1 is a research platform featuring humanoid-like capabilities, equipped with arms boasting 7 degrees of freedom each for smooth, human-like movements. It incorporates a single leg with 6 degrees of freedom mounted on a mobile platform, enabling a wide operational range. Autonomous movement is facilitated by a LiDAR system, while optional high-performance 3D recognition sensors and a master arm enhance its versatility. In alignment with the AI era's trends, Rainbow Robotics aims to offer diverse APIs and options, facilitating easy integration for AI developers conducting research. On board the cruise ship MSC Virtuosa, the Starship Club has introduced an innovative robotic bar experience. Featuring LED walls with holograms, interactive tables, and terminals, the centerpiece is a robot bartender named Rob. Rob not only mixes and serves cocktails but also interacts with guests in eight languages. Orders can be placed via touchscreens on columns and walls, with an LED strip signaling when drinks are ready and a QR code sent to smartphones for order pickup. MSC spent nearly six years developing the Starship Club from concept to launch. Kibo, an advanced humanoid robot developed by the Korea Institute of Science and Technology, excels in research and social interaction with humans. Featuring a cartoon-like face capable of expressing various emotions, Kibo aims to enhance user engagement and understanding. With 43 degrees of freedom, it performs precise movements such as walking, arm gestures, and head turns, mimicking human actions effectively. Kibo's autonomous navigation capability allows it to move independently through different environments without constant operator control. Equipped with microphones and speech processing systems, Kibo can recognize and respond to voice commands, enabling effective communication with users. Then the Raptor, a bipedal robot from Coast, took the world by storm. Its speed, inspired by the swift Velociraptor, made it one of the fastest robots worldwide in parallel. Nomadic Technologies Inc. brought us the Nomad 200, a cylindrical research robot well-equipped with various sensors perfect for robotics courses in research. 
Kaist wasn't far behind with their humanoid robots Maru and Atara standing at 150 centimeter. These robots showcased the capabilities of artificial intelligence with their network integration. The Genibo QD, a robotic pet, offered an autonomous pet experience capable of recognizing surroundings, responding to voice commands, and expressing emotions. Next, we have Peebo, a humanoid robot designed by Keist uniquely capable of piloting aircraft without modifications, demonstrating precision control even in turbulent conditions. Researchers at the Korea Institute of Science and Technology unveiled Cyros, a robot showcased at the Robot World Exhibition Adept at Preparing Salads. While the process is slower compared to human efficiency, Cyros meticulously slices zucchini, arranges them in a bowl, and applies dressing, a spectacle for those with time to spare. Engineers note Cyros' advanced object recognition capabilities encompassing kitchen appliances such as microwaves and refrigerators. Standing 160 cm tall and weighing 150 kg, Cyros utilizes a stereo camera, infrared sensor, laser rangefinder, and six ultrasonic sensors for navigation, complemented by speech recognition via a microphone. The Korean company Naver Labs, in collaboration with Korea University of Technology and Education, has developed LIMS-3, an advanced ambidextrous robot featuring the belt gripper robotic hand. This innovative robot can adjust its grip method to perform tasks such as dishwashing, vegetable peeling, and catching objects mid-air. Using a cable-driven system with electric motors controlling cable tension and movement, LIMS-3 achieves precise motion and adapts well to its surroundings. A standout feature is its ability to learn through human demonstrations, facilitated by a tactile device capturing motion and force parameters. This capability allows the robot to master complex tasks after learning from just one demonstration, utilizing data collected during the learning process. South Korea is transitioning from enhanced social distancing to everyday distancing, and robots in Korean bars and restaurants are now commonplace. In Seoul, there's a unique robot named Kabo, standing 180 centimeters tall and dressed in a custom vest and bow tie, dedicated to carving ice balls for drinks since 2017. Kabo serves whiskey with impeccably shaped ice balls at a coffee bar, gaining renewed relevance as people remain cautious about indoor gatherings. Despite its simple task, Kabo consistently delivers flawlessly smooth ice balls. South Korean engineers have developed Maro 3, an advanced informational robot tailored for public spaces like shopping malls, airports, hospitals, and offices. Equipped with a touchscreen, sensors, and cameras, Maro 3 interacts with users by answering questions, navigating buildings, and providing up-to-date information. It also serves as a platform for advertising and marketing, promoting products, services, and special offers. Maro 3 reflects South Korea's engineering prowess, enhancing customer service, quality, and institutional efficiency. The Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials has developed an advanced robotic wheelchair designed to significantly enhance mobility for individuals with limited movement capabilities. This innovative wheelchair is capable of climbing stairs and moving in an upright position, thereby offering users increased autonomy and convenience in their daily lives. Equipped with intelligent mechanisms and sensors, the wheelchair safely navigates stairs by recognizing steps and adjusting its movements accordingly. Moreover, the wheelchair includes a feature for vertical movement, enabling users to stand upright. This feature facilitates easier access to high objects and enhances interaction with the environment. The wheelchair is also equipped with a stabilization system to ensure balance and prevent falls. Overall, this project aims to enhance the quality of life for people with disabilities by providing greater independence and freedom in performing daily tasks and movements. The Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology has developed Hubo CU, an autonomous robot designed for transporting people. Part of the Hubo series known for advanced humanoid and mobile robots, Hubo CU features state-of-the-art navigation systems including LiDARs, cameras, and sensors for safe navigation and obstacle avoidance. Hubo CU efficiently transports passengers along predetermined routes, boasting an ergonomic design with a comfortable seat for a pleasant ride. It autonomously plans routes considering traffic and pedestrian congestion, adapting to changing environmental conditions. 
Developed by KAIST to integrate advanced technologies into daily life, Hubo CU also serves as an autonomous delivery robot.